dia, good afternoon, good evening guys Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel This time, not walking to the beach, but walking that side Let's see what is over there on the back of our house There seems to be a whole forest guys In today's video, of course talking about the family, about the family token About the DD Bam Bam indicator I'm going to bomb you again with really cool Bitcoin charts And some really cool blockchain news guys but today I need to make a very short video because I already did a YouTube show this morning with Hard Forking, with Sean and Jordan Oliva and Vesa, the artist, you know, the crypto artist. So I'm a little bit tired. My energy is a little bit down because I'm arranging so much stuff as well for the family token um, that I need to make a short video today. Yesterday I made a 30 minute video that's too long. I can see it in the views because they were like only like 2k views instead of the 3 to 4k views normally. So I will need to keep the videos between 15 and 20 minutes so more people will view them because 30 minutes is almost a movie. It's too long. <laughs> I'm not a producer of movies. I'm just a YouTuber. about the family guys about the family and um, we are still without long clothes it's a little bit cold in the evenings and in the mornings so we need some leggings for the girls and I need the jeans or joggings but we are still our stuff is in Bulgaria luckily my friends from Bulgaria Nico from blockchain Valley and Stoyan from uh, Evido the, you know the project I already talked about a few times they send the stuff now by UPS. It's not easy to get stuff sent up from Bulgaria to Portugal during the COVID because they are like, COVID can be on the clothes. COVID can be on your sh the shampoo. COVID can be like, eh, it was so difficult. But thank you so much, Nico and Stoyan, for helping me get my stuff here. It will probably arrive Thursday. So Thursday, a small pellet, one cube, will arrive with bags and we don't even know what is in it anymore. So that will be a surprise for Thursday's video. Guys, the family market cap of the family token is growing tremendously. We are almost at a market cap of 10,000 US dollar and family token. Yes, myself, because I believe in what I'm building, I provided a liquidity of 3.6 Ethereum and 70,000 family tokens because I truly believe that what I'm building and the whole community I'm building with the family token and around the family token is going to be really cool. I have so many ideas, a such a cool reward system in the top of my head that I just need to roll it out. And when I roll it out, by for example using Try Roll, <laughs> we create a really cool value of the token. And that is why I have a really cool announcement to make, but I will share that one with you tomorrow morning. Because you can start to help to build this brand out to a bigger brand and you can become part of this huge Bitcoin family and while you at the same time earn some family tokens but more news about that tomorrow today the people in the discord and the telegram channel will already know what the news is if you are there you're lucky if you're not there you will receive the news tomorrow I would like to know from you guys what you want to be able to do with the family token let me know down below in the comments because I'm really interested in your opinion how you should be able to use, spend or exchange your family tokens for NFTs, for clothes, for shoutouts, for whatever you prefer. Let me know and maybe I will use that idea and maybe I will even reward you for giving me a really cool idea. And the reward of course will be in family token but that's really cool because you can exchange them if you want to Ethereum, DAI, Tether, whatever other currency or invest in the plan that I'm going to share with you guys in tomorrow's video. But guys, that was enough about the family part. Now let's jump into the Bitcoin charts because you are excited to hear what Bitcoin is going to do today, tomorrow and the next couple of days after. Let's jump into the Bitcoin part. BAM! So let's take a look at the Didi Bam Bam indicator chart to show you guys what kind of profits we made yesterday. Bam! On this chart. We started with 155 US dollar because we always play with 1% of the Bitcoin price. The Bitcoin price was 15,500, so we traded with 155 US dollar. We trade with a leverage of 10. Like you can see on this chart, the first trade we did was a long. This long gave us a profit of 1.9%, which was equal to 29 US dollar. 
So then this 29 US dollar plus the 155 is 184 US dollar. So we took the second trade with 184 dollar and it was a short. This short gave a profit of 3.2%. That's around 59 US dollar. So then we can take the 184 US dollar with the 59 US dollar, which is 244 US dollar. And we did the third trade with 244 US dollar. The third trade was again a long, we took 1.6%, which was $40. So the 244 US dollar became 284 US dollar. With this 284 US dollar, we did the fourth trade. That was a profit of 1%, which was equal to 29 US dollar. So the 284 US dollar plus the 29 US dollar brought it all the way up to 314 US dollar. And then with the 314 US dollar, we did the fifth trade. And the fifth trade was again a long and we took 1.3%, which was 42 US dollar, which led to an end result of 356 US dollar. So we started with 155 US dollar and we ended at 356 US dollar. Be aware, this was a 24 hour day. So we traded 24 hours. So no, nobody will be able to be 24 hours hooked to the screen. But if you choose your trades wisely, you should have made profit with the Didi Bam Bam indicator yesterday because there were five opportunities of shorting and longing and that created in total for us now 200 US dollar profit. But guys, let's now take a look at some other real cool charts. Let's start with this first one, a day chart. This one, bam. In this day chart, guys, you can see two scenarios. One scenario is that we go down from now all the way back to 12,900 US dollar. The second scenario is, guys, that we fall down from 15,500, 600 to 14,700, then go up again to 16,800 before we see the next correction again. And I think this next correction could be like 30%. So from 17 to 18K, we could fall all the way down back again to 12 to 13K, in my opinion. And like you can see in this chart, they are thinking, the second scenario all the way up to 16,800 US dollar and then bam fall back again to 13,500 US dollar. So this is the these two scenarios can play out the next couple of days weeks. But like you're used for me guys, I like to zoom out on the charts. So let's take a look at this chart. Bam. Are you ready? Are you ready to go to 100,000 US dollar? Because if you look at this chart, you can see that every time we enter this green square, this is the moment we surpass the last all time high. That would be now when we go higher than 20,000 US dollar. So the moment we equal 20,000 US dollar, then we will see this huge run up in Bitcoin, the size of this green square, which would take us to over 100,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. Because if we look at the history, so if you look to the left on the chart, you can see that the previous bull runs after surpassing the previous all time high, all were between 700% and 1000% runs. So if we reach 20K this year, I think 2021 will be a 700 to 1000% run again, and that will bring us to over 100,000 US dollar as a new all time high next year, the end of 2021. Really cool chart. And this is what I want you to do to always zoom out to understand the big picture. If you make some small losses in trading, don't freak out, zoom out. You still huddle a few Bitcoins because you didn't go all in. And those few Bitcoins as this huge as a small part of Bitcoins will be a huge number in the end of next year. So it's a really cool time to play the trading game and to learn the trading game. Because even if you lose Bitcoins, I think Bitcoin will increase in value. So you won't lose in dollar value if you still calculate in dollar value. We calculate in Bitcoins because we spend Bitcoins. But I know that people that still have a bank account calculate in US dollar or euro and if you want to zoom a little bit more in so you want to know exactly what's going to happen in the next couple of hours let's take a look at this one hour chart this one bam this one hour chart is showing you guys that if we can break the 15,500 level which we are fighting which we are trying to break we could see a pump next to 17,000 us dollar if we don't break the 15,500 level again i will repeat it i showed the chart yesterday as well we can fall all the way back to 15,000 14,500 or even 14,200 before we try to go up again and reach 17k then. So it's almost the same as the two scenarios I already showed you before in the other chart. 
chart. So also this hour chart is showing us that there is a huge fight around 15,500 and that we need to break this level to get up higher. That were all the charts guys. Let's jump into the blockchain slash news part. Yes, we are going fast because I want to keep it short this day because I still need to do some other work and I want to have a cocktail at the beach as well because I also need to zoom out from the screen now and then. I'm already happy that my middle daughter Juna is going to edit this video today. So that saves me like one and a half to two hours and she earns a little bit Bitcoin because of doing this. So let's jump into the blockchain slash news part. BAM! The most positive part that I read today was that the Bitcoin fees, the transaction fees, almost go to zero again because the mempool is empty. And when the mempool is empty, the fees of sending Bitcoins drop tremendously. So at the moment, more Chinese miners are turning their machines, the mining equipment on again. So this makes sure there's a fly on my screen. I don't know if this one will be shown on the screen later, but there's a fly exactly on the camera. Wait, I will get it away. Bam. Um, so the miners in China are turning on their equipment, so there is more mining capacity, so this makes the hash rate go up, and because the hash rate goes up and there are more miners mining Bitcoin, the mempool gets empty, and when the mempool gets empty, the fees drop again. So yes, now is a great moment again for the normal people to send Bitcoins, because the fees dropped from $12 in the top where the fees were as highest to around now 11 cents. So that's a huge drop from 11, $12 to 11 cents. Thank you miners for emptying the mempool. We can send and transact Bitcoin in a cheap way now again. And that is what it needs to be. It needs to be a peer-to-peer -peer cash <laughs> that we can transact for low fees because else it will become a rich man's tool like gold. And in my opinion, that is not the end goal of Bitcoin. But again, I will repeat it many more times. If Bitcoin will turn into a rich man's tool into this new digital gold, then there will be another cryptocurrency that we can use as peer-to-peer -peer cash and transact all over the world with people without KYC in a very cheap way without fees. So everything is going to be all right. Then there was another news that I read that was about the Australian Donald Trump. Is there an Australian Donald Trump? Yes, there is a guy in Australia, a politician, and they refer to him as the Australian Donald Trump, and his name is Cory Bernardi, and this guy is a pro-Bitcoin guy, a pro-Bitcoin politician, that is stating now, guys, just accept it, Bitcoin is the new gold for the millennials. So yes, he is also one of those people that believes that Bitcoin is not a peer-to-peer -peer cash, but is becoming the new gold, and especially the new gold for all the millennials, because they don't wanna walk around again with these bricks of gold, they have a ledger, or they have a telephone, or they have any other way of sorting their value, their digital gold value, and transact it all over the world with low fees. So this Australian Donald Trump, Cory Bernardi, pro Bitcoin, thumbs up for this guy, and hopefully he will become the new leader of Australia and pump Australia to use Bitcoin in a huge way. And now that we are talking politics, if Biden in the US did win the US elections, I think it's still not completely clear. I think Trump is still fighting it and I think Trump is not giving up. So if Biden becomes president, guys, he assigned the financial policy transition to Gary Gensler. So Gary will be leading this whole financial transition team. The positive part, guys, is that this Gary, that he is a pro blockchain, pro cryptocurrency dude, that if he will do the transition, then this probably will be positive for Bitcoin, blockchain, and other cryptocurrencies as well. But let's see, man, because I really think that Trump is not giving up. And I really think that there was something wrong with these elections. I don't believe that you can get like 140,000 votes proposed, and one of those votes is for Trump. So I think a lot of things went wrong. And in my beliefs, something huge is about to happen. I think the bomb is going to explode because I think that it will be clear that the election this year were not done in a honest way. At least the counting of the votes was not done in a honest way. And for me, that will be a huge bomb because then from that moment on, we are sure that we can't trust all these politicians anymore and that we need a new way of voting probably probably built on the blockchain because that is the way to create a transparent honest voting system when it is built on the blockchain everybody can see very transparent who voted and we can count the votes like in a minute instead of like a week 
or two weeks or how long it already is that they are taking now to count the votes in the United States. That was everything for today's guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy this shorter video, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and please leave a comment because I love to reply to you guys in my comments. And be aware, tomorrow I will share some really cool news about the family token. So again, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified tomorrow when this video comes out. I want to thank you for watching today and always remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in that life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life is about. I am going to zoom out now, give these videos to my daughter. She's going to edit while I'll drink a cocktail on the beach because my head is spinning from all the stuff that I needed to do today. I almost spent like six hours behind the computer screen and I really need to zoom out now, go to the beach and enjoy the sounds of the waves while I'll zip at my beautiful cocktail. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bye.